I'm saying. Did he do it? 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 I think we can all agree that Puff Daddy is Spitty Cent's favorite target. You really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. The whole mantra, can't stop, won't stop, is like, you gotta be relentless. You gotta have a bit of crazy. You can't take no for an answer. You gotta make it happen. Yo, 50 Cent has to be the only rapper in the industry who's not on those rumored Diddy freak off tapes because everyone else has gone into hiding while 50 continues to publicly troll him. But 50 is not only going after Diddy, he now also wants to know where is Jay-Z? Now, if you're confused about what Jay has to do with Diddy's houses getting raided by the feds, well, word on the street is that Jay-Z was not only aware of Diddy's alleged crimes, but may have even partaken in something similar. It's no secret that Diddy and Jay were close friends for decades, and Jay often publicly praised Diddy. But after Cassie dropped her bombshell lawsuit back in November, Jay-Z suddenly started acting like he never knew Diddy. It was even alleged that he canceled his annual Rock Nation brunch this year because Diddy used to be a regular guest, and he didn't want to have to explain to him why he was disinvited. But is there any evidence from these claims about Jay-Z being implicated in Diddy's alleged criminal operation? And is 50 Cent hinting that he knows something more about Jay and Diddy's friendship? Let's break it down. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. It's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lump. So we all know 50 Cent is Diddy's biggest op in the industry, and also the only one who's not scared to call him out publicly. I mean, 50 has been doing this for literally years, long before Diddy got into this mess he's currently in. But there's another man on 50's radar, none other than Diddy's now former BFF, Jay-Z. Now, some people are saying 50 is trolling Jay because they had beef back in the day, and he is just being extra petty the only way 50 knows how to be. But see, it's not just 50 who questioned why Jay Jay-Z stayed so close to Diddy all these years. Multiple insiders have previously alleged that this is a case of birds of a feather flock together. And then when you take into account that before Diddy, Jay's other BFF was none other than Mr. Robert Kelly, well, you can't help but wonder, how does Jay pick his friends? Also, remember how Dame Dash revealed that Jay-Z knew what R. Kelly did to Aaliyah and he still went and recorded a joint album with him. It already destroyed, but then years later they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both. The best yeah, of both but it both. still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that, but, and the karma happens. But the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not f with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. Right. I mean, that fact alone speaks volumes about Jay's character. But then Jaguar Wright joined the chat, and she went a step further, alleging that the reason Jay-Z stuck by R. Kelly's side was because he was guilty of the same things. And he was working with R. Kelly, and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both f***ed Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. And then in another more recent interview, Jaguar said Jay-Z might be even worse than Diddy. The only difference being that Jay moves in silence and he's not as sloppy as Diddy. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh, oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. So now that it looks like it's officially over for Jay-Z's longtime friend Diddy, people are naturally wondering how much Jay-Z knew about Diddy's double life and his alleged depraved crimes. As you all know by now, the feds raided Diddy's two homes in Miami and LA earlier this week, and they apparently took boxes and bags full of evidence. Diddy has now broken his silence on the raid and accused the feds of using excessive force. He also denied all allegations that have been 
been made against him and complained about being a victim of a witch hunt. In a statement to E! News, Diddy's attorney Aaron Dyer said, Yesterday there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Diddy's lawyer also claimed that Diddy already spoke to and cooperated with authorities and clarified that no members of the Combs family have been arrested. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. The lawyer added, there has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Now, I know this lawyer is just doing his job, but it's kind of insane to call this situation a witch hunt. There were two very calculated and precise raids on Diddy's properties on both coasts. And you know the feds don't come at someone like this unless they have hella probable cause. To even get a search warrant for not one, but two residences means they've been watching Diddy for a long time and had enough evidence to present to the judge. And besides that, the fact that Diddy's homes were raided by Homeland Security, not the FBI or the DEA, also shows that this is something major. Homeland Security doesn't just raid houses, so there's some serious mess and some serious evidence behind this. But speaking of evidence, some unconfirmed reports are now starting to circulate that Diddy's high-profile industry friends, including Jay-Z, could be questioned about this supposed evidence. And it looks like 50 Cent has something to say about this. The day after Diddy's homes were raided, 50 hopped on IG to share this photo of Jay-Z on a milk carton, implying that there's something suspicious about Jay going MIA since this whole Diddy showdown went down. 50 wrote in the caption, anybody seen Jay? LOL, Puff said he ain't answering his phone, LOL. But 50 didn't stop there. He later hopped back on IG to share another photo of Jay-Z waving and said, here is Jay-Z last reported, seen waving at Puffy Jet, LOL. But 50 is not the only one seemingly implying that Jay-Z was involved in Diddy's alleged Rico enterprise. One ex-user said, Diddy is just the tip of the iceberg for the s trap and money laundering scheme by the elite. Jay-Z is next. Just watch and grab your Bibles. It's about to get biblical. And then another person added, Jay-Z got multiple projects with R. Kelly and is good friends with Diddy. Where there's smoke, there's always fire. But you already know the Beehive is working overtime to deflect from this conversation, and they're now dragging 50 for supposedly being jealous of Jay-Z. One Beehive member went off on people bringing up the Carters and their connection to Diddy, saying, it's weird that y'all don't like Beyonce so much that y'all are trying to tie her to something she has nothing to do with. First, it was people begging for her to be on the Epstein list, and now y'all want her to be linked to Diddy in some way? Imagine hating someone for no reason so bad that y'all try to link her to evil people so y'all can get rid of her, and it ain't happening. But see, we don't really have to try to link Beyonce and Jay-Z to evil people. I mean, there are a ton of photos out there of the Carters at Diddy's parties and other industry events. Here's Queen Bee posing with Diddy's former male servants slash concubine Fonsworth Bentley at the CFDA Fashion Awards in 2004. And then here's Diddy at the same event talking to Beyonce with his hand on her upper back. And apparently Diddy was even close to Mama Tina. And we don't have to speculate about Diddy feeling like part of the Carter family. I mean, we heard it straight from the horse's mouth when Diddy said only two people are allowed to call him by his government name, his mom Janice and Jay-Z. As for Jay's feelings about Diddy, he publicly praised him as recent as 2022 when BET gave Diddy that Lifetime Achievement Award. Jay recorded a message for Diddy talking about how Diddy inspired him not to take no for an answer in the boardroom and set the blueprint for aspiring music mogul. The whole mantra can't stop, won't stop is like, you gotta be relentless. You gotta have a bit of crazy. You can't take no for an answer. You gotta make it happen. He embodies that. Here's this guy from a neighborhood similar to where I grown up that made it to these unreachable heights. Puff was the first one that came through and made us feel like, you know, it was us. It was ghetto fabulous. We took our rightful place at the tables in the boardrooms and the fashion shows and, you know, we arrived. That impact obviously had an effect on all of us and let us carve our own space. And it was like, oh, we, we could be in these spaces without assimilating. We're gonna be in these spaces as ourselves. To change someone's mindset and take the limits off of kids' dreams. You dream about things, when you see it done, then you know that dream becomes attainable, then it's something that you can reach for.
It just feels like the ultimate coach. Culture, you can't measure that. It's like you get in there and he'll make you believe that you can do anything. So yeah, I know JMB's fans don't like people bringing up their connection to Diddy, but it is what it is. The Carters were flaunting this connection for years, so you can't blame 50 Cent and other folks for wondering why they're so silent all of a sudden. But let me know how you feel about 50 Cent dragging Jay-Z into this Diddy drama. Do you think Jay was fully aware of Diddy's alleged crimes? Drop your comments down below and make sure you stick around for this next video.